This is my 2014 Aston Martin Vanquish. I've owned this for three years and it has a little over 22,000 miles on it. And I apologize, it's 720, uh, so the sun is not out, but if needed, I'll do another video. Uh, I have had it, again, three years. And I've probably driven it, I would say, 5,000 miles. So the last service was just done, um, actually came back today. And the interval between when I had service previously, December of 2022 versus May of this month of 2024, I put 1,000 miles on it. But it does sit in the garage. Usually it sits up there. Uh, and then it's, uh, it's always in a uh, cooled garage. So six liter, six liter V12. Uh, I did have the wheels redone when I got it, uh, powder coated. Also had the brake calipers refreshed to black, the rear and the, uh, the, the larger brake calipers. It's a carbon black and the whole body is uh, carbon fiber, which is pretty unique and I'll show you that. And then it does have this cream interior, which I think is stunning. And it might be hard to see uh, it's kind of dirty, but you can see the actual carbon fiber weave in the uh, through the paint, which is kind of neat if you look closely. So interior is nice. Uh, the only thing I had, the whole dash was redone. Well, it's hard to see, but so all this uh, was all redone. There was a little bit of peeling about a year ago, and I had a professional shop redo it all. It's actually nicer than I think factory. And I had them redo this side of it. Uh, this is showing a little bit of age. So that is not dirt. I don't know what that is. That's a shadow, but that is, uh, I don't, it doesn't show up in person, but this is slightly darker than that. The other seat is perfect. The rears are perfect. Uh, there's no issues with the convertible uh, glass. I've had a few Aston, especially DB9, that have uh, even DBSs that have the glue coming out. So there's nothing there. Uh, top's in good order. It sits down a little bit, so there's some creases. You could probably be steamed out. It does have Air Blue 80, which is a, uh, a tint I put on all my vehicles just to help with sun here in Florida. So you can see all the windows have a slight blue tint to it. However, I just had these quarter windows replaced because the all the uh the trim work and all the the rubber gaskets were showing age and so uh, i didn't want to uh, have any issues with water intrusion so i had these replaced the point there is that you can see slightly maybe it's just me because i'm neurotic but you can see slightly light blue and then no blue so you would probably want to add some air blue 80 to that uh, you could have someone do that for you uh, but I'll walk around the car, kind of show you the vehicle, zoom in a little bit. Great condition. Again, carbon fiber. No dents on it. It did have ceramic coating done probably two years ago at this point. So it's been a while. You can see down the body, no dents. I know it's hard to pick up on camera and a black vehicle, um, but no rust. Nothing really to uh, to call out. Uh, I did add these little goofy V12 emblems. I think they came from a uh, Aston Martin um, Vantage V12. And then I think the, the newer uh, Vanquish S had those on there. So all the carbon fiber looks good. There might be a slight hint of yellow there. Uh, but again, I keep this in the garage. And with the ceramic coating, this whole front is PPF. So you can see the PPF here. And so there's no, no dents. Uh, that's not true. There's a, there's a mark here and there. Those are hard to see, but that's in the PPF. So you could probably heat it up or replace the PPF if you wanted to. Uh, the car is, uh, it's great. I just have too many vehicles. I have a, a super Legera that I'm probably going to sell too. And then I have just other fun toys. Uh, I'll start it up for you. And literally just got the service back from Dimmit. It was dropped off today. So it was a, almost a $4,000 bill, which is lovely. Oil change, 
and they replace the uh, all the the quarter the two quarter windows and actually the rear passenger uh, regulator. So love the glass key. The glass key, by the way, is in good condition. There's a small like little chip there, but everything else is good. I have one key, maybe two. I've always I'm always buying these glass uh, uh, emotional control units, so I think I have uh, another one too. But anyway, I'll start it up. <laughs> Uh, hard to see, but once it cycles through, 22,000, a little over 22,500 miles, 7.34 p.m., so it's dark, or about to get dark. Uh, this is this operates the um, uh, infotainment system. I put it down all the time, so I usually rock it like this because I think it just looks clean. The waterfall looks really, really nice. I think there's a small, you can see it there, there's a small hairline uh, break there. Uh, again, I'm neurotic, so you may not even see it. You don't notice it when you're driving. Everything else looks pretty nice. The back seat's clean. Uh, I did notice this. So this just, uh, this cable here, that's not, not, it's a cloth cable, just broke. So I'll fix that. That's a super easy fix, uh, but the top is nice. I'll go ahead and put the top down, which is this guy. I'll get out and show you in a second. Um, get a better uh, light on the... I did have this strut replaced. So the door stays wherever you want it to. Well, we got too close there, but you understand that these struts were replaced, which are a common fail on these guys. All the lights seem to be in working order. I love the Aston Martin badge, a little uh, geek here, but if you ever see an Aston Martin badge with a black background that means that was their flagship unless you have forged carbon like I do on the uh, the DBS and you can't really notice it but the exhaust on this in my opinion naturally aspirated v12 6 liter sounds better than a twin turbo v12 this is the longest video I've ever done sorry but just trying to be thorough uh, all lights are in order. Again, just had the oil change done. Everything looks good. I did replace these as they were um, getting old and showing age. And that's just the PPF that protects the paint when the top goes up and down. Uh, yeah, that's it. It's a good looking car. And it sounds great too. I think I covered everything. Hope this helps.